What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I know I am. I'm actually in California when you guys are seeing this. You know, I made these ahead of schedule and uh, you know, if that's pretty swag with you, then be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. Pirates will actually attack you when you're on a cruise. Take you, go to the captain's office and make you say, look at me, I am the captain now. So this is actually a story from high school. This was a big deal at our school. One of the kids actually ended up uh, destroying a car and got away with it completely while bragging about it. I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, how is that possible? And let me tell you, if I explained it this quick, there wouldn't be a video about it. So I'm gonna be telling you guys the story time about how this icon somehow managed to get away with the crime of the century and uh, most importantly, entertain a bunch of people while doing it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Anyways, guys, one day I go to school and this kid is sitting there and he's got this big smile on his face and he starts telling us that he destroyed a car on the way to school this morning and I'm like all right bet so tell me the story then if this is legit because like I don't know about you but when somebody goes oh yeah I destroyed expensive property and I'm not in jail right now I just have a hard time believing it usually I'm like oh yeah sure you did you know you destroyed a car and you're sitting here in class instead of getting interrogated by somebody anyways across the street from my school was this crosswalk that most kids that like lived in the neighborhood would take and whenever I walked to school I had to cross it too and for the most part it's pretty safe except for like the five minutes before school starts because whenever it's five minutes before school starts people just forget how to drive and cars like will get super aggro in the crosswalk I almost got hit basically every other day it was super common for kids to get hit at the crosswalk like it, it wasn't rare people just forgot how to drive whenever it was about time and this kid lived near my neighborhood like he would cross the same road you know and like I said it was pretty common for cars to suck and there started to be like just almost infamous people that were really terrible at driving at our school and you would just know their cars based on how bad they would drive like we almost got hit by certain cars so much we just started identifying them you know which is not a good thing like it should not be a good thing that everybody knows that your Toyota Corolla is the one that's almost killed 15 freshmen that's not a good thing but you know the kids who would cross the street just started to learn the vehicles that were not gonna slow down at all and we would avoid getting hit by them because that's what you do when you might get hit by a car is you avoid getting hit by the car that's the go-to also watch how absolutely disgusting me and Dom do this right now bro ah oh, really beautiful overwatch on screen uh, quite quite impressive to be honest anyways like I said we just started to learn that uh, certain people would basically hit us with this car and there was this senior that thought it was super cool to try to hit us like he would purposely slow down and then get as close to hitting us as he could and no that's not a very fun game that's a very dangerous game to play but for some reason seniors in high schools could be basically psychopaths and as long as they were athletic, they couldn't get in trouble. And, like, this kid was a notorious athlete who basically knew he was untouchable. Our principal would not suspend anybody that would make him look bad. And this kid going on and being good in sports made him look good. So, this guy in this giant truck would always cut it super close to hitting everybody who was crossing the street. But, for whatever reason, I guess on the timing of these dudes' day, it was always especially close to hitting him. Like, this kid who had destroyed the car this day and was bragging about it, right? So, he starts telling us that, uh, you know, the truck that's always close to hitting us. And when I say this guy would get close to hitting us, here's what he would do. First of all, he would drive to school with, like, four friends in the back of the truck, and they would yell, like, get him! And he would literally come within inches of hitting you. Like, it was super close. And everybody was pissed off. And I guess today, this kid had finally just had enough. Because what he explains is he's on his way to school, and he's already a little late. And he was almost glad he was late, because that meant that the truck most likely already be parked, so he didn't have to, you know, play Frogger to get across the street to school safely at all but I guess the truck happened to be late too this morning and this kid yo you usually cross with a group of friends was late so he was crossing the street by himself and as he gets about halfway off the truck goes in front of him and stops and blocks the crosswalk right and so my friend tries to or not the, my friend but like the kid tries to go around it in front of it and the truck steps on the gas and like keeps inching him further into the road while blocking his way around the truck right and at this point the kids late this guy's been messing with us all almost hitting pedestrians all like all week and so the kid just has enough gets up on the hood of the truck stomps across it like crunch 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 dents the hood the entire way while he's walking across this just literally does not care in the slightest has no regard for the truck and at one point kicks the windshield cracks it like Loki messes this truck up, dents the crap out of the hood of the truck, 
cracks the windshield just an absolute savage because this guy wouldn't get out of the way and I guess the guy gets out of the truck and is like what the hell man are you kidding me and is like freaking out at the freshman uh, who, who just did this you know decided to destroy the truck and obviously the kid is everybody's like flabbergasted isn't dead yet you know and so the guy's like you're gonna pay for this your parents are screwed do you have any idea how much trouble I'm gonna get you in I'm gonna tell the principal like you think you're so slick I can't believe you destroyed my car being super cocky thinking he's about to get the payday of his life this kid is gonna have to pay for his new truck you know he's gonna have to fix it he's gonna have to get him a new windshield he's gonna have to fix all the dents and then the kid does the only thing that would be possible to get out of this situation without a noogie and like a nuclear wedgie the size of Hiroshima all right he looks at the guy and says, I don't think you want to do that. And the senior's all cocky. He's like, yeah, give me one reason I shouldn't turn you in. Like, you have nothing. And they say that revenge is a dish best served cold, but I'm not quite sure that's the case because this kid looks at the senior and goes, because then the principal's gonna have to get you in trouble. And the smile kind of disappears on his face. He's like, what are you talking about? And he begins to explain that every day when he comes close to hitting them and him and his friends are laughing in the truck saying, ha ha, look at how close we got to hitting these kids. He's been recording it. And he has it all compiled into a montage of this kid basically almost running over at least two people a day for the entire school year. And look, our principal can let kids get away with a lot, you know? You bully some freshmen, eh, okay, uh, they're probably gonna let it slide because bullying freshmen is just a rite of passage, I'm not gonna lie. As somebody that's been through it, it's just something freshmen have to deal with, okay? But I don't really think that, uh, you can really fudge kids trying to run each other over. Like, if a news gets a hold of that, you know, you come out as the president that lets people almost hit each other with cars, that's not very good rep. Your superintendent probably isn't gonna be a big fan. And you know, the bully kid, like, calls his bluff, he's like, I don't believe you. So the kid pulls out his phone and... Sure enough, has like a five minute compilation of just 10 second clips of them almost hitting him and like bragging about it, which is a very dumb thing to brag about, by the way. Like if Kanaya can offer one piece of advice, if you're going to try to hit people with your car, maybe don't flex it, you know, don't like be like, aha, we almost hit you with car. Like that's just admitting to the crime that you're being accused of. That's not very smart. That's like robbing a bank and being like, yeah, see, this here robbery was so good that me, Scrubby, of the owner of this YouTube channel sure did rob this bank. Isn't that big brain of me? You're just leaving a trail, man. Like, uh, uh, do you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars? I don't think so. So the senior kind of realizes this kid's not playing games, but the only problem is if he backs down now, he looks like a coward, bro. Like, you're gonna let some little kid destroy your truck and not do anything about it? But his hands are tied, man. He damned if you do and you damned if you don't. Like, there, there's really no way out of this at all, because if you think about it, you can't afford to be known as the kid attempting vehicular manslaughter while kids are trying to go to school. That's not a good look. Colleges don't want to recruit that kid, you know? No matter how athletic you are, it's kind of a bad rap when the college guy goes, oh, the major you're going to be studying is the old Aaron Hernandez, where you become a famous athlete and then are convicted of crimes. Yeah, that's not too good, buddy. We're going to have to decline your scholarship. Sorry about that. Regardless, though, the senior finally realizes his options and is like, yeah, I guess we're good, dude. I guess we're good. Looks at the kid and is like, but this is not done. Like, I'm going to get revenge on you another way and uh the kid smiling cocky i would have been terrified if somebody with like that much influence at our school was you know you're done i'm gonna find a way to get revenge cocky i guess smiled at him and went yeah for sure dude enjoy the truck and just walked into school sure enough somehow the senior kept his mouth shut and didn't rat which is crazy because i feel like most teenage kids would definitely crack under pressure once your parents go oh my god what happened to your car why are there footprints on the hood surprisingly though the next day too the kid's truck was fixed so I guess having rich parents that are also terrible people probably helps like if my kid came home and went yeah I tried to run over some freshman and he got pissed and destroyed my car I'd be like well you're a jerk so have fun getting a minimum wage job to fix it because I'm not but I guess when you know all of your parents are jerks your mom's a jerk your dad's a jerk they fell in jerk love and had jerk kids it's it's pretty normal to have your car destroyed like ah oh, son we've all been there everybody knows the first time a kid who you bully stands up to you and destroys destroys your car is a rite of passage in a man's life, son. And, uh, as for the revenge, you know, the jocks actually left the kid alone because they realized he probably meant business. I feel like anyone smart enough to figure out a foolproof way to destroy their bully 
Jay's car and get away with it. Definitely is not the person I want to start like a long standing beef with, you know? You, you don't fight the kid that is like, I will do anything until you are destroyed, for you are my enemy, and it is my one goal in life to make sure that you no longer have pleasantries. When you sleep at night and see me in your night terrors, I will know I will have victory. So, uh, low-key, it kind of worked out for him. But that's the story of how a kid destroyed a car and got away with it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. Turn on notifications and subscribe if you're new. I upload videos like this every single day. Pretty fun stuff, so, uh, check it out. And if you turn on those notifications and send a screenshot to my Instagram, I shout somebody out every day. And today's notification shout-out goes to CRO91356. Big thank you for having on notifications. Turn them on, send a screenshot to my Instagram at Scrubby. Get the merch if you really want to support some no joke, no scam stuff. It is 100% proven to make you cooler with the ladies. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. Follow me on Twitter at Scrubby underscore 69. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm going to go try to enjoy my vacation if anybody needs me. It's hard to make story times out there. You guys know how it is. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to be me. Ah, hopefully I don't see a Karen at Disneyland. That, that's, that's my hope.